Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Starr and this is my channel Not Bad Films. I make videos about music and other stuff, but one of the things that I get a lot of comments about is, hey, are you going to make any more sitar videos? So today is an attempt to do that. I wanted to focus today on recording sitar. So if I'm looking up here, it's because I'm looking at uh, my monitor to check levels. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm looking at this microphone. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm looking at the camera to make sure that the camera's in focus. So there's a lot going on today. I figured what we would do is uh, I'll just noodle a bit. I'm not playing anything in particular, just sort of noodle away. But I will, we'll talk about some different microphone placements and then you, the viewer, can leave a comment and tell me what you think sounds the best. I wanted to ex experiment a little bit tonight and hopefully you'll, you'll join me on this journey of sitarness. Uh, <laughs> and if, um, if this is not for you, Hey, that's okay. There's other stuff on, on YouTube all day long, but I think for some people this might be really useful. I'm using this uh, Neumann TLM 102 uh, condenser microphone. This is a pretty, uh, pretty nice microphone. When micing an acoustic guitar, a lot of times you will um, put the microphone pointed at about the 12th fret or where the uh, neck joins the body on the acoustic guitar if you're just using a single microphone setup. On a sitar, you know, you can follow that same sort of principle, um, but you may also want to micro uh, put your microphone sort of behind the hand or more close to the bridge, or you might be thinking, oh, should I be capturing more up at the neck, like where all this stuff's going on? We have our main playing strings. And then we have all of our sympathetic strings underneath. So there's a lot of, a lot of audio information coming off of the sitar, and it's not a super loud instrument either. It doesn't have a huge projection like you might get from a, a large bodied acoustic guitar. So uh, first things first, I want to, um, oh, let's say this is about eight inches-ish, and the microphone is pointed directly at, uh, let's say, let's put it at sa, right? And that would be sort of using that concept of pointing the, the microphone at the sort of join of the body. Um, and we can, we can shift that. I'm going to sort of keep my, my, my face and mouth about the same, but I'll move the sitar, sort of point it more directly on axis. So, so the, the, the um, capsule is pointed of the microphone, it's pointed at the join exactly where my thumb would rest. And we're still in that six to eight inch territory. And then sort of the next place I think you might want to look is sort of micing it behind the hand. So, so sort of hopefully hitting behind my hand here, which I found uh, you lose some high end of the instrument, um, but your sympathetics uh, tend to, uh, the microphone just tends to pick them up a bit more. Compared to, let's say, down here. And as you bring the mic um, more directly to the bridge, uh, say about there, um, that's even more pronounced. So 
And there's some basic sort of thoughts on mic positioning um, when recording a sitar. What did you think sounded the best? Let me know. That will really help to inform me as to how I will um, mic up my instrument for future sitar videos, which there will be more coming. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, check out other stuff on my channel. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. I have a Patreon and a huge thank you to everyone who is a patron. Uh, you help make uh, these videos possible. Thank you so much for watching. Go grab your instrument. Happy practicing.